will be adopted. Uh, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr. Speaker, I, I take this opportunity at the end of the evening to um, just raise a, a matter that I hope the presiding officer's team could give some consideration to. Um, members throughout the committee stage have witnessed a, a number of rulings uh, around um, the relevancy question um, that have been made by um, presiding officers, and I completely accept that it is up to presiding officers to determine um, the relevancy of speeches being made by members, but some members, particularly on this side, would feel as though um, perhaps the relevancy rules and the standing orders and speakers' rulings um, may be being applied somewhat differently to what they're used to, um, and many members have been uh, challenged on their relevancy. So senior members, including the Honourable Ruth Dyson, and uh, I just wonder whether the presiding officers could give some uh, consideration to that matter, perhaps discuss it with the whips and see if we can attempt to comply with the expectations of the presiding officers uh, in the future a bit better. I can assure the member that the presiding officers will do all they can to ensure the smooth running of the House. <laughs> Members, the exclusive economic zone and continental shelf environmental effects transitional provisions amendment bill are set, is set down for third reading next sitting day and the environmental reporting bill, the New Zealand superannuation and retirement income amendment bill is set down for further consideration in committee next sitting day. Members, the House stands adjourned until 2 p.m. tomorrow. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Thank you.